So, you know, your SMEs are in here, they are uh, coordinating with each other. Uh, they're working through their own comments. You know, I'm a project manager and, you know, the deadline's coming up. So I hop into the session to just to see uh, every, how everyone's doing, everyone's status. And I see a lot of people are still reviewing, but when everyone is pretty much finished, maybe I'll have a, a couple that are still waiting and I'll figure out, you know, I'll go into the chat or the alert box and, and figure out why they're waiting. And, you know, maybe I'll make a call on, uh, on a duplicate or, or conflicting comment and reach out directly to them uh, to hop back into the session to adjust it or delete it. As you know, once everyone is is fully done there and, and switched their status to finished, uh, the PM should take this chance to, to run through all the markups again. And one thing they'll want to do is uh, go through all of the, you know, go through the, the markups list here and just confirm that this status column is blank and that the NJDOT back check column is blank. These are the two that we haven't touched yet and we're about to get into it. And that's really what's most important for an LPA or designer to respond to comments. Um, so you'll finish the session. We talked about how to do it in PMRS and you'll transmit the documents uh, back to the LPA or the designer. And then you will create a new studio session which is uh, supposed to be kind of what we're in now. It's got all the comments finalized. And to that session, you'll just invite yourself and then a list provided by the LPA, which will be a list of LPA staff, uh, their consultants, or even their sub-consultants, depending how many uh, folks have worked on the project and, and how large it is. The LPA's job when they enter the session is, is pretty centralized. It's going to be to update this status tab. And this is the portion of a comment that actually anyone can edit. So if you want, go ahead, explore around the documents. To update the status of something, you can either double click the status bar down here, or you can right click on a comment and then go down to set status. The status column tracks the status of your markup and how far along it is in, in that resolution process. It also creates a track record of how each comment is resolved. So because the LPAs will not be required to purchase a Bluebeam license, I'm going to cover uh, two mirroring options. Um, so I'm pretty sure some of you are going to be only seeing review and migration. But anyone who has the full license of Bluebeam and are in markup mode and have that profile, they're going to be seeing this NJDOT option as well. The review and migration are built into Bluebeam, and Bluebeam is very insistent that everyone sticks to just these five words because they uh, do not allow the view mode uh, to have access to this NJDOT one. Uh, but the, the responses all mirror those five options. The difference with the NJDOT one is that it uh, kind of elaborates on them and tells you what they're actually uh, meaning. So in the built-in, we see accepted, rejected, canceled, completed, and none. And then in NJDOT, we see the same five options with a bit of a note afterwards. So accepted to be incorporated is for comments that are agreed upon by the LPA or designer, and they agree to incorporate them in the next submission. And then rejected, it's not a lovely word, but again, Bluebeam won't let us get away from it. Uh, rejected really just means requires discussion. It means requires discussion. Um, you know, the, the LPA is, is in need of either more information or something's been taken care of already that maybe the reviewer didn't know about. 
So they will mark uh, a status or they'll any comment that requires discussion, they will mark as rejected. When they do the first pass through the document, the goal is to set everything as either accepted or rejected. So I see this one here. I'll right click it and set my status as accepted. And for anyone in view mode, you'll be able to see this and I'll show you what it looks like when I use the NJDOT column. So anyone with a fully licensed version will be able to see that. It splits it up into two, uh, which is why it's, it's gonna be important uh, for an LPA to let you know uh, whether they are using view mode or they're using markup mode, and then you will be able to, uh, to decide the corresponding status there. The status can change as you go along, but really this, this first pass are only for the first two options, which are accepted, rejected. Accepted means it's gonna be incorporated, rejected just means you need to discuss it. Um, so as an example, I'll go back to my uh, crosswalk comment. Uh, so this one I set as rejected. Um, they requested that we replace this existing crosswalk. And um, you know what they don't know is that uh, the borough has had countless council meetings where they've been hearing about um, how sketchy this intersection is. It's got uh, safety concerns with sight distance. Um, there's, there is no pedestrian activity and uh, the opposite corner is, is constrained. So a future sidewalk extension is unlikely. So they, they really wanna remove this uh, to make their residents happy. So they, they wanna sit down and have a discussion with NJDOT about it. Another example um, of a rejected comment here. The comment is just circling the uh, traffic director police and noting that it's a, a non-participating item. And they're saying, you know, within these uh, project limits, I don't see any traffic signals, uh, which means the police are not required. Uh, so you should remove this item or denote it as non-participating. And I'll reject that. Uh, it was impossible for the state to know, but the county is uh, currently underway building a new signal, which is per purely hypothetical. Um, building a new signal that, you know, wouldn't have appeared on street view and that is gonna require manual control. So that's why we have the uh, traffic director police. So on the second pass, the first pass is the, the idea is to get everything accepted or rejected. The second pass is gonna be following the discussions. So a project manager now has the option to hop into a review, uh, fire up their filters, and now they can just review, or now they can filter by rejected. Now all those comments are really just boiled down into a discussion that's needed regarding two comments and the rest are all uh, accepted, right? So now it's time for the second pass. Uh, let me just set up a filter over here from a page. So let's say I've uh, reached out to DOT and I've uh, talked to the project manager who left this comment and um, you know they agree. Now they, they see the, uh, the traffic signal and they agree that uh, nothing needs to change on the plan set. So what I'll do is now update my status to be canceled. So we look at the NJDOT translation of that. Canceled means voided by discussion. And it also prompts you to put in a reply. So say it's canceled because we agreed to void it. Now I'm gonna put in another reply to this comment. And the reply to this one should detail who the comment was discussed with, uh, when and how, phone call, video call, um, you know, text message. 
and then you're going to want to cite the uh, the ultimate outcome. So it's getting voided. The item will remain as is. It'll remain as participating because the police are needed for that for that signal work. So the uh, it was it was come to an agreement. We're agreeing to not incorporate the change. And that's denoted by our, our canceled status there. On the next page, we have uh, the other one that I rejected, which was the crosswalk. Uh, so this one, uh, we initiated a, a discussion, right? And uh, it didn't go it didn't go my way as an LPA or designer. Um, uh, Mina is standing firm. She wants that curb ramp. She won't take no for an answer. So following that discussion, I'll go in here and paste in my reply, summarizing exactly what we talked about, when, how, virtual meeting. And we decided that, uh, you know, we are going to add a crosswalk, but we're not going to add it in the same spot. We're going to be able to fix that site distance concern and still provide that accessible curb ramp. And you know the steep slopes aren't a problem. So I'll detail exactly what our conclusion was. And the most important part, especially if a comment is adjusted based on the, the original, uh, provide details on exactly what is going to be incorporated ultimately. So we're gonna put in a, a realigned crosswalk. It says, as marked up in green, so I'll go ahead and uh, place a line where we agreed to place the new crosswalk. And you'll see, uh, you know, it, it'll require a little bit of movement of the stop bar, but we can still make everyone happy with the site distance. And, you know, we've got a, a curb ramp sitting there. Um, if anyone ever does come down the road, they'll be able to get off the road. The last status option is none. And this one, 99% of the time, should be avoided. Um, it means comment noted, no change. For the most part, when you're noting a comment that doesn't require change, you should just be setting it as accepted to be consistent. But never know, there might be a situation where there's an errant comment that uh, is unrelated or something. Maybe it slipped through the cracks. and. Uh, you know, you can just confirm with with uh, DOT project manager that um, that you can mark that status as none. And that way, you're not putting in the bucket with things that require discussion, and you're not committing to it because there is no change to commit to. So that is the. Uh, That's going to be the goal for the LPA designer when they when they hop into this uh, response session. They're going to want to get through and hopefully set every every one of the comments to accept it. The only comments that need a status change are the ones with text. So that'll be the call outs or text boxes. Uh, for things like rectangles, or squares, you you don't need to set any type of status for those, so you'll you'll avoid those. Uh, for situations that have replies, um, you can set the status for those. So, in um, in my that's page five, in my comment over here, uh, you know, when uh, when me and Tremaine and James worked out our comments, we ended up uh, really just adding as replies under that original bike pad comment. The traffic added uh, that they want a crosswalk. And um, you know, Jonathan from Geometrics uh, noted that there were some uh, steep slopes. And he, he's expecting a technically infeasible form, a TIF form. Uh, so he's detailed that he is going to want one of those from the designer. In the case where you have SMEs replying under other SMEs to avoid duplication of comments, you can select those statuses as well, um, assuming that they are uh, separate from the original comment. 
but for things that the LPA replies to themselves, uh, there's no need to, to change the status of, of a reply here. You'll always want to change the status for that original comment so that it can be done even without uh, using the markups tab.